Hi guys, I'm Charles, a medical student in University of Malaya, Kuala Lumpur. Ever wondered how the physiology of the heart would sound like if played on a piano? Today, I'm going to try and show that to you. But before that, we need to establish some basic physiological concepts. Most of us know that the heart acts as a pump to deliver blood throughout our entire body. The heart pumps blood to the lungs, where it receives oxygen and eliminates carbon dioxide. The heart also pumps blood to the cells of our body, so it can deliver oxygen to our cells and take up the carbon dioxide from our cells. Hence, to pump blood to our lungs as well as to the cells of our body, our heart is essentially made up of two parts, the left heart and the right heart. The left heart pumps blood to all the cells in our body, while the right heart pumps blood to our lungs, where it receives oxygen. The left heart is thicker and more muscular than the right heart as it needs to pump blood to our whole body. This can be represented by the left hand on a piano playing a deep bass melody. The right heart is thinner and less muscular as it only needs to pump blood to one organ, the lungs. This can be represented by the right hand on the piano, a lighter, higher melody. Oh, and one more thing that you have to know. The volume of blood pumped out by the left heart per minute is called the left cardiac output, while the volume of blood pumped out by the right heart per minute is called the right cardiac output. Alright, so here comes the essential cardiovascular concept. If you look closely, the two pumps of the heart are arranged in series in a closed circulatory loop. The blood goes from the right heart to the lungs to the left heart to the cells and back to our right heart a closed circulatory loop. So because the left and right hearts are arranged in series, the left and right cardiac outputs, which is the volume of blood pumped out per minute by the left and right hearts respectively, have to be the same. In other words, the left cardiac output must equal the right cardiac output. What happens if the left and right cardiac outputs were different? Clinically, if the left and right cardiac outputs were not balanced, blood would start accumulating and backing up in certain segments of the circulatory circuit. We call this vascular congestion. For example, if the left heart fails, vascular congestion will occur in the blood vessels of the lungs, otherwise known as the pulmonary circulation. This is bad because you may develop what is known as pulmonary edema, which is basically fluid leaking out of the blood vessels in your lungs. And if the right heart fails, vascular congestion will occur in the veins of your systemic circulation. Likewise, you may develop peripheral edema. So in normal heart function, the heart has an intrinsic mechanism that ensures that the left and right cardiac outputs are equalized over time, known as the frank Starling law of the heart.